if you told me Nashville hot chicken today and I was like, what? No one's ever heard of that. And you Googled it and found 500 results. I'd say, you know what? I was wrong. You would never <laughs> do that. <laughs> And my name is Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Hoy, Wood. Menace is here. What is up? He also serves as our social media director. You can Hi. find us. You can follow us Thank at you for your The Woody service. Show. Thank you for your service, yeah. Menace. On uh, social media serve. platforms. Seabass is here. Yeah. Our current employee of the month. We're the getting down here to the end of the month. We're going to have to crown another employee That's of the right. month. So that'll be, uh, you'll get to take that plaque home, Seabass, and display it with all your other really cool stuff that you have hanging up in your apartment. Well, I rejected the award, and I don't have a plaque. Yes, you do. Yeah, it's on the wall. Yeah. yeah, it's in the office. Oh, no one showed it to it's me. It's been there oh, all month. It's, it's right there. It's yeah. been being there. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm it's, been, go, it's been being there. I want to yeah. go look at it now. Wow. Okay. Right well, no, because I, I need you. Uh, no. I think yeah. it's for a second. There's uh, Sammy. Fine. Go get the plaque. Hurry up. Yeah, bring it in here. 877-44. What is the phone number? Send us a text over to 22987. Well, the reason, I'm, uh, the reason that I want him in here is because there was a big argument in the office the other day. Good God, it was a two-hour argument. Yeah, uh, so, okay. <laughs> literally, so literally. Here's, here's a question for everybody listening. Whatever your hometown is, maybe it's not even like your city, your home city, but your home state. Are people always talking about something that is, quote, famous? Like, you know, um, you know, Nashville hot chicken is an example that uh, Seabass brought up at one point. Because remember, everybody started talking about Nashville hot chicken. Oh, mm -hmm. Kentucky fried chicken came out right. with a Nashville hot chicken. Right. Now, right. Seabass is originally from Nashville. And it was just all, like all of a sudden, it was every. It went from being really nowhere to now everywhere had it on a menu. Yeah, like yeah. Screw Buffalo hot. We want uh -huh. Nashville hot. That's yeah. better somehow. Right. And so somehow I was like, wait a minute. How did he. Like, I, I'm from there. I don't even recognize this. I mean, there's Prince's that's been around forever, but that was about it, right? Right. And well, so the thing is, it, it, when Woody's right, it came out of nowhere. And I talked right. to the people who were born and raised in Nashville. They're like, yeah, it just became a. That popped like, into what the is cultural. This thing? Uh, I lived in St. Louis for a while, and while I've heard the name, nobody can really tell me exactly what it was. Like, I, 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 but I don't know what that means because I know there's a like barbecue, there's there's with sauce, and then some are like just dry rub, right? Kansas City versus Texas versus North Correct. Carolina versus Correct. St. Louis. Right. North now, but, yeah, there were St. Louis Get style it. ribs that you'll see on what, and they go, I don't know what that. Yeah. Another example, uh, more accurately from St. Louis, there's a St. Louis style bagel, meaning that. It's a bagel that they slice in little slices like bread. Right. Vertical slices. Like not to, just yeah. in half, but multiple times. My wife, born and raised in St. In St. Louis. I lived a lot of my adult life in St. Louis. Nobody I know, my in-laws, nobody had ever heard of this. Nobody had ever seen this. It's not like when people get bagels, this is how they cut them in St. Louis. Somebody just made this a thing on the internet. Yeah, I think that was more of a made-up thing. There's, there's no real history with that one. Is there something from your home city, your home state, that is associated, and people go, oh, it's whatever style, yeah. whatever. And you're like, what is that? Huh? And everybody seems to be a mystery to them. Well, we bring this up because uh, my hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Seabass brings up Pittsburgh-style steak, because we were talking about a couple other things. Yeah. There's a Pittsburgh-style salad. Which, which is can, not hard, which is hardly a salad. Barely salad. <laughs> it's iceberg lettuce. Right. And now uh, it doesn't always have to be steak, but most people like uh, to put the steak on it. So a steak salad, really. Okay, that's um, still a salad, yeah. Okay. Or chicken. You'll put chicken on there. Yeah. Now, here's what makes it the Pittsburgh style. Uh, <laughs> they'll put French fries on it because they do everything uh, with French fries. Yeah. And then they put uh, shredded cheese <laughs> okay. on there. So and, yeah. and, and some and hard boiled eggs. On yeah. There. So it's not a legal so, salad. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have that. So right? it's a meal on top it, of lettuce. Yeah, it's steak and uh -huh. fries, which is great. Right. Uh -huh. With then some crappy iceberg lettuce thrown underneath. Mm -hmm. lettuce. I mean, a taco salad is considered, a, you know, they it, it call it a salad. It's not really a salad. Anyway, uh, we talk about that. We talk about a Pittsburgh style sandwich, which is like a Permani Brothers sandwich with, again, French fries, coleslaw, with egg, you know, maybe. So I like to put an egg on. I Love get the pastrami and egg. cheese. I believe, Greg, yeah. that's a also that's a San Diego style burrito or Mission style burrito with the with fries. French fries. Well, yeah, well French they call fries. it California style burrito. Okay, so yeah. something like that. Okay, good example on the uh, on the text. Like, yeah, Detroit style pizza was never a thing until recently. Because it's funny, and it's not even really a thing here in Detroit. It kind of is. I only yeah. heard about it when we went to Detroit. Right. Oh, my God. And, and we, we had to drive an hour. <laughs> an hour to go get it. So it wasn't know, readily available anywhere. Because I went to the Detroit-style pizza that's downtown. I forget what it's called. And it was damn good. I don't know. Yeah. Wherever we went, we had to take an airplane. And the okay. only difference was it was rectangle. <laughs> That was it. Well, oh, it's, it's, it goes crust, up to the side. And the cheese and the yeah. sauce goes all the yeah. way to the edge. That's uh, their big that's deal. A, not that great. Yeah. It's St. Louis no. style pizza is basically Oof. ketchup on a cracker. Ugh. It's like the really thin crust pizza, and they use this mid sauce, 
and they yeah. use this uh, cheese, this hybrid cheese of is provolone and mozzarella. It's legal b- birthday balloons. It was, it's got nasty aftertaste, and it just heinous. sticks to the roof of your mouth. It's, it's disgusting. Cafeteria food. It's but that's the a thing. People ever, in St. Louis, they know what that is. It's one of the few things I've ever eaten that I literally couldn't continue. It was so gross. But anyways. Yeah. anyway, so, style steak. So Seabass goes, what about Pittsburgh-style steak? And I go, what the hell is that? I've never heard that in my entire life. And he's like, ah, ah, ah. And, He's getting very impassioned in his argument. I've just never heard of it. So I called my dad, who he's in his 60s, -hmm. and he's lived in Pittsburgh his entire life. He's never heard of it. He's like, what is that? Didn't hear about it. We called Pittsburgh City Hall. They never heard of it. Now? City Hall. Uh, Seabass picked up the phone, called Call the Steelers Sideline Store. Right. <laughs> These, yeah, the, the, the pro store, it's the Steel, for, you know, Steelers, Steelers gear yeah. and stuff, yeah. And the lady who they had, had, they had, had never she, heard of she it. She said, is that with the fries on top? I was like, no, that's the salad. <laughs> that's the, yeah. Or the now, sandwich. Salad. Now, to be fair, the reason I was so impassioned is because I, go- I Googled it, which I'm good at doing. And there were 500 articles that describe Pittsburgh style steak. So I'm like, well, this is clearly a thing. It's not a thing. Nobody there has. So there- I called Del. Was it Del Frisco's downtown? Hmm. I said, uh, you guys serve a uh, steak Pittsburgh style. She's like, oh yeah, black and blue. Yeah, absolutely. She knew yeah. exactly what I was talking. Okay, about. Okay, but yeah, if you call a radio a, person, ask him a radio question, I'm sure they're yeah. going to know. Like, this is which why, is why I don't uh, blame your dad. Like, if, if you could have called any other restaurant, like not a steak place. Right. If I called, but if I call my dad and my mom and ask them anything about Nashville culture, they won't know just because they're old people who just don't do that. Kind but see, that yeah. was his but, go-to answer for everything. Like, well, what do you called your dad? On. He doesn't go out. So yeah, what but, I did, I called somebody else. Who, this guy goes out to record dinners. He's a program director. He's going out a lot and doing different things. That's a better example. Yes. Okay, so we called. Uh, we called our our buddy David. David picks up, and we asked him what it was. He goes, uh, yeah, and he did hear about Thank it. You. But here's the thing: this guy's mm-hmm. lived in Pittsburgh for thirty years. Okay, he only heard about it a month ago, a month or so ago. On a Royal Caribbean cruise. Nowhere in <laughs> uh-huh. Pittsburgh did he hear about but it's, this. So it's international. No, he heard it about on a it's Royal Caribbean cruise. <laughs> and it was on the menu. It said yeah. Pittsburgh style steak. And he goes, yeah. Can I ask you the, the waiter? Can I ask you a question as a person from Pittsburgh? What the hell is a Pittsburgh style steak? Black and blue. So, yeah. which, which, by the way, is hot seared on the outside. And by the way, there's Pittsburgh but, uh, restaurants that serve these. Yeah. yeah and Supposedly, that's the point, way the steel workers ate it. It's a steak. And you call a steakhouse, and they know what it's about. It's so black. Like, right. It's seared yeah. black on the outside, but other than that, it's rare like, on the inside. And raw. my other point to this is, there's literally a small chain of steakhouses called Pittsburgh Blue Steakhouses. So clearly, it's a thing. So they have okay, but they're the place, right? Right. Like there's one place in Pittsburgh. There's a Pittsburgh. They call it Pittsburgh style pizza, and it's called Beddoes. Oh, Beddoes, dude. <laughs> it, <laughs> oh, it's like as if everybody's clamoring for this. No, they're not. There's one place that sells this it's crap. Where they, it's, they, they bake the crust, they bake the sauce, and then, then uh, they put everything else raw. Then on they top. throw the loose cheese. Nah, on nah. Yeah, loose cheese and <laughs> so pepperoni. On top. No. That's the weirdest thing. I'd never Sounds even like heard Chipotle. of that. <laughs> never heard of it. Anyway, so somebody texted over said, uh, "I'm from Baltimore." And you hear Baltimore style wings on their menu. I've never heard of that. And that's one thousand percent not a thing in Baltimore. What's a Baltimore? What what it makes it Baltimore? I don't. Because like at least with you're like, the Google expert. At least you with, Google like it. with Nashville hot is different than Buffalo hot because it doesn't rely as much on the vinegar and cayenne. It's more of like a smoky. I forget what it is exactly. I couldn't even tell you. But it's it's a different style of heat. So there's at least a difference there. Can I ask you a question? Uh, where did you even come across this Pittsburgh style steak thing? Well, I, as you folks who don't know this, but before I joined the Woody Show, I was a food writer for Thrillist. I was their local, so you just get you get used. You hear terms. You hear ter- like, and I, I, it would, I fully agree with you in that certain things are more uh, ubiquitous, menace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> like a, a Philly cheesesteak, people know because of the names that are cheesesteak, yeah. but people yeah. know that's oh, I know what that is, Chicago. Mm. Deep dish pizza. They again, it's in the name. They yeah. know what that is. Yeah. World famous. Nashville hot chicken. People like, oh, they don't know exactly why it's that, but they may know. And I and Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh style steak is down that list where it's not as famous at all. But but again, I and, do, but I mean not famous at all. But again, there were five hundred articles, recipes. There's a chain of restaurants called Pittsburgh Blue. We got so a text three right locations. Here. It's Pittsburgh it's, steak is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it, it might be great, but that's not the point. That's not. That's, the, that's I'm, not. The I'm not arguing point. it's as known as like I said a Philly cheesesteak, but it is definitely a thing. Of course. Okay, so does it exist? Yes. Does anybody even in Pittsburgh know it exists? <laughs> the the percentage I would be if you went on the streets and went to wherever you wanted to go and you would ask them a uh, hundred people, people uh, ten maybe. Oh, look at the uh, the timeline on uh, Google. Oh, See, the Google Trends. That's a good yeah. point. Well, because when I googled it, there, there were articles going back as you know twenty something years, and that's just wow. on the internet. 
And again, mm. apparently, it's uh, if you don't respect Pittsburgh Steelworkers, that's on you. Yeah, apparently, that's how that's they eat their steaks. Are but... there any left? This is probably apocryphal menace. Uh, but they say that that's it, the reason it's called Pittsburgh Style Blue is the steelworkers would have their, their they would bring raw steak to, to work, mm -hmm. like you do, uh -huh. and they wouldn't have anything to cook it on. So they had to shh on the hot steel shh, or with their welding torches. And that's why it's charred on the outside and rare on the basically inside. Raw. Okay. So it, the, that's just a legend. A, just throwing this inside. out there, not sure if there's anything like this from whatever city or state that you are from. Something that they, they, that people try to, for. yeah, people all of a sudden try to make it like it's a thing, a thing. like and, and own it, like where it's in, in, uh, and yet nobody really seems to know what the hell it is, like like an Albuquerque red or green, yeah, but that's for the, the sauce, but that's an actual and they, thing, and they are, but like, and people do know. I think it, that's even on the license plates exactly. for New Mexico, the I red and green the, chili. That's the reverse. People in Albuquerque know all about it, but somebody in Colorado would have no yeah, idea, or it, Washington State much. would have yeah. no idea, pretty much. But for that location. Yeah, and Seabass just could not stand six, it. 661. People heard about in Pittsburgh. 661. Heard about Pittsburgh steak 10 plus years ago. Mm. Cool. Oh, case closed. All right. Well, case closed. You see? I left a message. And I, I yeah. called the uh -huh. mayor, honestly, and they, they had a voicemail. I left a message yeah. asking him. I haven't, oh, I, that's I, right. I haven't heard back yet. <laughs> it'd, be like me, it'd be like me trying to tell you about Nashville, your hometown, and if, like what people know or don't know. Like if you, if you told me Nashville hot chicken today, and I was like, what? No one's ever heard of that, and you Googled it and found 500 results. I'd say, you know what? I was wrong. You would never <laughs> do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. you, you know what I mean?